breaking news tonight. Two Secret Service supervisors assigned to President Obama's detail are accused of misconduct. The Washington Post reports that they're accused of sending inappropriate emails to a female subordinate. Tom Rousey joins us now live from Northwest Washington on the latest misconduct to tarnish the Secret Service record. Tom. Leon, the Post reports that this involves Ignacio Zamora Jr. He oversaw a couple dozen agents on the president's security detail. They say this all started in the spring. He was here at the Hay Adams Hotel, met a woman in the bar inside the hotel. He later went up to the women's woman's room, according to the Post. After he had left, he realized he had left a bullet from his handgun behind. The Washington Post reports Ignacio Zamora Jr. had taken the ammunition out of his gun while in the woman's hotel room at the Hay Adams. He gathered up all the bullets but one. When he went back to get that bullet, the Post says the woman wouldn't let him in. He identified himself to hotel security, and the incident led to an internal Secret Service investigation. Investigators looked at Zamora's BlackBerry and found sexually suggestive messages to a female agent. The Post says investigators also found suggestive messages to the same agent on the phone of fellow supervisor Timothy Baraclow. This all comes a year and a half after the Secret Service's biggest scandal. Between the alcohol and, and I don't know the the uh, the environment, uh, these individuals uh, did some really dumb things. Then director Mark Sullivan apologized after agents allegedly partied and drank with prostitutes in the nation of Colombia. Sullivan is now gone and in the wake of the scandal, the president appointed a female director, Julia Pearson, in his place. Now, as far as this latest issue, the Post is reporting that Zamora has been removed from his position, at least for now, and Baraclo has been taken off the president's security detail. Live tonight in Northwest, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.